today we're just fishing this pond. I've been to a couple of times, nothing crazy. We fished it a few times. It has nice pieces of structure in here. There's this little drainage ditch right here that goes out maybe like seven feet and it drops off right there. And I've caught some fish stacked up right there. Today, we're gonna be throwing the five and eight weight, but on the eight weight today, since it's a little hotter and everything out, I just wanna try something new. So we're just gonna try this game changer. I've caught some fish on it, not a whole lot, but it has a really good action in the water, which I'll get a video of it because it's a really good lure. And if you've never used it while fly fishing, I really recommend it. It gets really good bites. And it, like I said, it just has a good overall action on it. So we're just gonna throw that around here. We'll probably stick at this pond all day. I've been to this pond in the daytime. Like right now, I think it's 12 o'clock or so. So it's a little hotter. I think it's 81 out right now. And I, most of the times when it's like that at this pond, they don't bite really good. But I've noticed at like 5 o'clock and when the sun starts to really go down, they start biting a little better. So what I'll probably do is record for maybe an hour or so and then go into another, like a second part on this video and fish it at night and see what the difference is. But other than that, I'm going to drop the camera. We'll start throwing around and hopefully catch into something. camera probably didn't catch that right there. I was too far off to the left or right however you're looking at it, but got this nice little dude on this five weight on that little Umpqua minnow. I just, I always have so much confidence in that lure, so that's why I always keep it tied on. But yeah, we'll keep trying to catch little dudes like this and make it a good day. I don't know if the camera's picked it up really good, but on two times now, there's been fish. I, I don't know if it's like a nice size bass or a nice size bluegill. They've just been popping over there like crazy. So what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna wrap around here real quick and then just go throw over there real quick, see if we can catch into whatever it is. And then we'll just continue to fish the rest of the pond and keep hooking them. just fished the spot that I kept seeing fish blow up on. Didn't really get much, nothing really. It's really, it's really just weedy over here, which on the fly is sometimes irritating. But I mean, I don't know. We gave it a good try, good like five minutes at this spot. So I think what we are gonna do is we're just gonna fish all this down here. I think from what I remember, it's deeper right in here. It's pretty clear all along here. So we're going to go do that, and then that'll probably take, I mean, if I had to say, probably like 20 minutes realistically. 
and then we're gonna go get lunch and probably come back out here. I think it gets starts getting dark around like 5, 545. We'll come back out here and see if it's any different at night. We're back at the pond. It is 5, 530 right now. You can see from that right there, 530. It's a little cooler now too, which is really nice. Earlier it was 90 something, it's 81 now. We're gonna go toss around and hopefully catch them. So we just fished this little bank right here and as you saw I did miss a fish it was right in there so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fish along this entire bank since it's the exact same way as this one and I think we're just gonna keep throwing that five weight with the little umqua minnow and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just nice size bluegill that are biting right now hopefully we catch a bass if not no big deal but yeah we're just gonna fish that I think we have a high chance of catching something so fingers crossed This little bank it went kind of quick just because it is getting dark. It doesn't really pick up that good on camera, but it's getting a little dark. It's five, I know, I think it's actually six o'clock right now. And we just came down here and we found this little thing, which I always forget it's here. It's this little drainage ditch. It's just like the one up there. These are always just so good to fish though, just because, I mean, you get small little bluegill that just hang all around these. They hang up in them and I mean, if you know anything about fishing, you know wherever there's bluegill or bait fish, most likely there's a nice sized bass and yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> So we did, we started here and we just wrapped all the way around, fished over there, nothing really going on so I'm not really going to put that in the video. We just wrapped all around here, I think we're just going to fish this for the next 15-20 minutes. The sun's kind of going down, it's 
it, it again it doesn't really show good up on the camera so it's always kind of misleading but other than that we're just going to fish this hopefully i mean if anything we hook into a nice size bluegill if that happens that happens if not still had a good day and we'll keep you updated I think that is going to be it for today's video. Unfortunately, we didn't really catch much. We caught that one bass, which may or may not be on film. I think I was out of frame, which kind of sucks, but I'm still going to put it in the video because I need you guys to believe that I, I actually see fish. <laughs> but other than that, I think we're just going to call it a day. I had a good day. If any positives came out of the day, I think my casting on the five weights getting a lot better. I've only been doing this for about two years, so my casting isn't all that great fly fishing it's really weird you either it's weird i'll go into a story about that in a different day but other than that we're gonna call it the day so i hope you guys like the video subscribe share it do whatever you want i'll see you guys on the next one see ya